Shalom. Kol halal Yahawa Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakodash. The be honest to the elders and apostles of great men stone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citation to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwaf, that be brothers and sisters, Adawan Rataza, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp, back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And this lesson today is going to be entitled. This predication is predicated upon the scriptures. Okay? <clears throat> Once again, the title for the lesson. This predication is predicated upon the scriptures. And, um, <clears throat> you know, what sparked this lesson today, okay, or what inspired this lesson is the word predication. You know, you know over here, GMS, Great Millstone, we, we like to look up words, you know, we are, we, are, we are taught to look up words. So, you know, earlier this morning, I was um, <clears throat> looking up a word or a few. And um, <clears throat> predication is one of the words that I, I ran across, okay? And through the Spirit, you know, it just, it just uh, dawned on me to just go into a quick lesson on, on this word predication. Okay, now you hear uh, the word uh, predication as I have uh, predicated in uh, the, te the title, all right, but the two words actually, uh, they're similar in some way, but in, in, in other ways they're different also, okay, so um, we're going to use the, strip the scriptures, go into the scriptures, and get uh, some 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 uh, precepts in here uh, going into predication because the word predication it really goes into preaching or uh, announcing or proclaiming. Okay, as a matter of fact, before we go any further, let's get the word. Okay, let's pull up the word uh, predication. Okay, so um, this is predication. Okay, um, this is a uh, duck, duck, go. Okay, so it says um, the first one is the act of predicating or affirming one thing of another, affirming assertion. Okay, so. Affirming meaning confirming, okay? That's why we we, we preach. We, we affirming what the scriptures say. That's why it's, it's predicated upon the scriptures. This, 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 this predication, which is a preaching, see? When you look at the word, the second one is preaching, okay? Preaching. The third one, you have a proclamation, meaning to proclaim something, we pro that we proclaim the name of our Lord, okay, the, the acceptable year of his coming. A, a, an announcement, you make an announcement <clears throat> or, or preaching, see? And these things, you know, you have scriptures uh, to solidify these things. So the word predica pred predication, it goes into preaching or proclamation, or announcement. You know, you're making a, 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 you making a declaration or you declare it. You know, we're declaring, okay, we're lifting up uh, the banner, which is the scriptures. Okay, we go out on the highways and the byways to preach and to teach, you know. So going back to the title of this lesson, now that you know what predication is, okay, uh, this this predication is predicated upon the scriptures. And our, our base, when you go into the word predi predi predicated, it goes into your foundation, what is, what is based upon. Okay, so our predication, which is our preaching, our proclamation, our announcement, our, our, our declaration, 
okay? We're declaring the names of the Lord and, and, it, and His doctrine, okay? And it's predicated, it's based upon the scriptures, you see? Now, this first one is in uh, duck, duck Go. When we come back to it, I'll get it in the, um, the, etymon the etymology online. We could get that version. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 61. And, and I'll start at verse 1. It says, The Spirit of the Lord power is upon me, because Yahweh had anointed me to preach. Right? To preach. Right? That's, that's predication. Our, our predication, one of the, uh, the words for predication is preach. A preaching. Okay? Or a sermon. It says, the spirit of the Lord power is upon me because the Lord had anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty. You remember that word proclaim? Proclamation? A proclamation is a, is a, is a, is a, is a proclaiming. We proclaim the names of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and, and, and the doctrine. Okay, which is which is truth and righteousness. We proclaim that boldly. Okay? It says to proclaim liberty to the captives. Right? And scripture say, uh, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. St. John the eighth chapter and the thirty second verse. So we 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 boldly proclaiming, okay, what the Lord commanded us to do, to speak his words, to preach his words, to proclaim liberty to the captives. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Right? Verse 2 it says, let's go that word proclaim again. To proclaim. Okay? Now remember, predication, one of the words there is proclamation. You see? Predication, one of the other words there is to preach. A preaching. It says, verse 2, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of his vengeance. It's like in the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. All right, verse 3 says, To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, and to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of Yahweh, that he might be glorified. You see? So at the end of the day, all right, the Lord is going to be glorified, okay? And um, this predication, all right, this, this preaching of the gospel is predicated upon the scriptures, the Holy Bible, you see? It's predicated upon the scriptures, all right? Now, let me get that, uh, let me get, let me get, uh, let me get it here. The etymon line predication, same word predication. It says um, a preaching, a sermon, okay, a sermon. When you come down further here, it says a foretelling. What is a foretelling? To say before means you prophesy. Prophesy. To prophesy is to say before. Pro means before. Prophesy means to tell. Okay. It says a foretelling. Predication. So you're prophesying, you're preaching. Okay? A foretelling. You see, that's why I want to get this one so you can see you, you're prophesying, you're preaching. That's that's this is word predication. And when you come down further, it says to assert or proclaim, declare publicly. Okay? The act of affirming. The word affirm goes into confirm. Alright? One thing of another. The one thing is these prophecies. The testimony of our Lord is the spirit of prophecy. Therefore we in the spirit of prophecy. The scriptures say to be in holy conversation. Our conversation is set apart. I say confirming one thing. The prophecies right? The scriptures tell us that none shall fail. Affirming one thing of another. The, of, the, the another is the scriptures. We get the prophecies we speak of comes out of the mouth of the Lord through the scriptures. You see? So this predication is predicated, right? Meaning our foundation, okay, our base is the scriptures.
So this predication, this preaching, this procl this proclamation, all right, is predicated upon the scriptures, man. You see? So now we're going to go back and get some more scriptures. Let's go to the book of uh, Matthew. Okay, the book of Matthew, the 10th chapter. It's Matthew chapter 10. I start uh, verse 1. It says, and This is the Lord dealing with his disciples. It says, And when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Now, the names of the 12, 12 apostles are these. The first Simon, who was called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, Philip, and Bartholomew, Thomas, and Matthew, the publican, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Lebius, whose surname was Thaddeus, surnamed the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. It says, verse 5, These twelve Yahushai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and enter and enter any city of the Samaritans ye not okay it says verse 6 but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel and as you go preach okay what is the predication a preaching preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand and that's the point all right you're going to go and you're going to preach that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's the predication, a sermon, okay? You're going to go prophesy, and you're going to go preach and teach in the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. It tells you that in Matthew, the, uh, the 18th chapter. Uh, let, me, let me get it, and I'll jump back here. Uh... Make sure right, the 28th chapter I want to say. The 28th chapter and the 18th verse. And Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and preach. So like here, go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Come on. You see? So we commanded to do this okay so now going back to matthew the 10th chapter i'm gonna jump down from the 7th verse and then we'll go to the 24th verse right it says the disciple is not above his master nor the servant above his lord and this is red letters of our lord yahweh is speaking it says verse 25 it is it is enough for the disciple that he be as his master right and the servant as his Lord, if they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? So they they hated the Lord, right? Scripture say they're gonna hate us. All right, they're gonna try to persecute the man of the Lord. You know, we know these things are a part of our walk. So at the end of the day, uh, you know, we have a, we have these things, all right. Uh, 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 we know that these things are a part of our walk, okay. It says, um, verse 26, Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hid that shall not be known. So the time is coming to pass where the, where the truth is going to be declared. But this is the point, verse 27, it says, and you see how shall I speak? And it says, What I tell you in darkness, that ye speak in light. And what ye hear in the air, that preach ye upon the housetops. Okay, so we ain't gonna spare your feelings, all right? The scripture say to, to the scripture say, "Cursed be the man that that hold that, that keep it back his sword from blood." So we're not gonna spare your feelings, but we're gonna tell you what it is as we're commanded to tell you, man. And we ain't gonna hold back. We're not gonna spare your feelings. We're gonna give you the truth of the matter. Okay, let me read it again. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light, and what ye hear in the air, that preach. Ye upon the housetops. Alright, so we send it out to the world. Okay? 
that, 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 that's, that's the power the Lord gave us through the internet, the unicorn, to put these uh, video epistles up and let it go to the, to, through the World Wide Web, man. And go out onto the highways and the byways and the, the hedges and the chief places of concourse and preach this word, man. Okay? And, 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 and um, uh, uh, as the scripture say, to, to show my people their transgressions, Isaiah 58 chapter, verse 1. Okay? Cry aloud, spare not. Okay? And, 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 and tell the people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to let you know that salvation is open unto you if you would only adhere to the words of the Lord and turn back and repent. You know, the Lord say to repent, okay, uh, uh, turn back to him, only acknowledge, only acknowledge that you transgress against him. Let me get that real quick in Jeremiah. Jeremiah, it's the third chapter. I'm going to jump in here at verse 12. It says, go and proclaim. There go that word proclaim again. You see? Go and proclaim these words. Okay, proclaim. Uh, the proclamation is a synonym, a synonym of the word uh, uh, predication. All right? Back to the title. This predication is predicated upon the scriptures. You see? This is Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 12. Go and proclaim these words toward the north. And say, return thou backsliding Israel, said the Lord, and I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you. For I am merciful, said the Lord, and I will not keep anger forever. Only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy power and has scattered thy ways to strangers under every green tree. And ye have not obeyed my voice, said the Lord. Turn, meaning to repent, O backsliding children. O backsliding children, said the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. The Lord is married unto us. All right, the nation of Israel is likened unto a, a calmly delicate woman. It tells you that in Jeremiah uh, six chapter in the second verse, I think it is. All right, and 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 he's the husbandman. All right, and he's married unto us. Okay. When you read verse 15, it says, And I will give you pastors according to mine heart. And what does pastors do? Preach the word. Okay, that's what they're instructed to do. The true pastors, the ones that are according to the Lord's heart. It says, And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. You see? The real true prophets are going to feed you with knowledge and understanding, man. The pastors whom the Lord have sent after his own heart, they're going to feed you with knowledge and understanding. You see? Uh, let's go to the book of Matthew. Let's get some scriptures right written down here. This is Matthew chapter 11. And I'm going to read verse 1. Okay? Uh, it says, And it came to pass, when Yahweh had made an end of commanding his twelve disciples, he departed thence to teach and to preach in their city. So I bring this scripture out to show you, you know, yes, how the Lord, the Lord led by example. He was about his father's business. All right. So it's the same thing with the with the with the with the with the the the, 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 the prophets, okay, the apostles, okay. They have to go and do the work. Uh, uh, John the Baptist, okay, the different prophets, you know, they have to preach this word. The work had to be done. Okay? Now, this account I'm going to get right now is after Yahweh was crucified and um, was re resurrected. I'm going to get straight to the point for time's sake. Um, the book of Mark, Mark, the 16th chapter and the 15th verse. So, this is when um, Yahweh Shah had, had shown himself, okay, 40 days. Okay, before before his ascension, before he ascended back up, you know, this is what he told, all right, the disciples. It says, and he said unto them, go ye into, in, it says, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. All right, straight to the point. He said, so once again, this was after Yahweh was crucified. After he was resurrected and he, and he showed himself for 40 days. Okay. All right. This is what he said. And he said unto them, go ye 
into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. You see, so the apostles, okay, they had to do it. And then these times right now, you know, the scripture tell you how uh, the spirit of the prophets is subject unto the prophets, right? You see? So, like in these times right now, this is what we have to do. Go out and preach this word. But we're going to get an account. We're going to get the account inside Acts. We're going to get the account in Acts, the fifth chapter, where, okay, the apostles, where the apostles was, um, it was out and about because the Lord gave them the power, you know, to, 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 to cast out unclean spirits. And he gave them power to do certain works. And they was doing the work and calling upon the name of the Lord. And then you have, you know, uh, certain of the people trying to stop them from calling on the name of the Lord. Okay. Um, they even imprisoned them, but they got out. All right. They beat them. You know, but the apostles continue to call upon the names of the Lord and continue to preach the word, you know. And, and the scriptures say things written a fourth time was written for our learning. You know, the scriptures say we ought to obey the most high rather than men. So we're going to have to cling to Yahweh Bashim Yamashai. We're going to have to cleave to the Lord and his words, you know. Um, this is Acts chapter 5, verse 12. It says, And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people. And they were all, and they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch, and the rest of dust. It says, and the rest of dust. No man joined himself to them, but the people magnified them, and believers were the more added to the Lord multitudes, both of men and women, insomuch that they brought forth the sick into the streets, and laid them on beds and couches, that at the least. The shadow of Peter passing by might overshow, might overshadow some of them. There came also a multitude out of the cities round about unto Jerusalem, bringing sick folks and them which were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed every one of them. So you, you could see the apostles was doing the work. But then look what happened. It says verse 17. Then the high priest rose up and all they that were with him, which is the sect of the Sadducees, and were filled with indignation. They were mad because the apostles, okay, was calling on the names of the Lord, okay, all right, uh, casting out unclean spirits and, and doing many wonder, wonder, uh, wonderful works. And they was upset, showing you they wasn't in the right spirit, right? It says, um, and laid their hands on the apostles and put them in the common prison. So they, they, they locked them up. They put them in the prison. It says verse 19. But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors and brought them forth and said, Go, stand and speak in the temple to the people. So it says, so like here, Go, stand and speak in the temple to the people all the words of this life. Okay? It says, And when they, and when they heard that, they entered into the temple early in the morning and taught. But the high priest came, and they that were with him, and called the council together, and all the senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the prison to have them brought. But when the officers came and found them not in the prison, they returned and told, saying, The prison truly found we shut with all safety, and the keepers standing without before the doors. But when we had opened, we found no man within. Now when the high priest and the captain of the temple and the chief priest heard these things, they doubted of them where unto this would grow. Then came one and told them, saying, Behold, the men whom ye put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. <laughs> you see that? You know, it couldn't stop the works, man. Yahweh Bashim El Shai is in control of all things. The Lord sent the angel and, 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 and took them out, man. Okay? It says, so they could go in the temple and, 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 and teach the people. It says, verse 26, Then went the captain with the officers and brought them without, without violence, for they feared the people, lest they should have been stoned. And when they had brought them, 
they sat they set them before the council and the high priest asked them verse 28 saying did not we straightly command you that ye should not teach in this name see they were trying to stop them from teaching in the name of the Lord okay it says and behold ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring this man's blood upon us it says verse 29 then Peter and the other apostles answered and said we are to obey Yahweh rather than men okay it says the power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai whom ye slew and hanged on a tree him had the most high exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give re repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins so, all right, so that's what Peter said that's what he told him it says Verse 32, Acts 5 and 32. And we are his witnesses of these things, and so is and so also the Holy Spirit, whom the Most High had given to them that obey him. What says, when they heard that, they were cut to the heart and took counsel to slay them. Now, you have a doctor of the law, right? This guy, Gamaliel, he stand up. It's 34, Acts 5 and 34 says, then stood then stood there up one in the council a pharisee named Gamaliel, a, a doctor of the law it says had in reputation among all the people and commanded to put the apostles forth a little space and said unto them ye men of israel take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do as touching these men it says for before these days rose up theodos boasting himself to be somebody to whom a number of men about 500 joined themselves who were slain and all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught you see it says after this man rose up judas of galilee in the days of the taxing and drew away much people after him he also perished and all even as many as obeyed him were dispersed it says, this is the point, verse 38. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men, meaning the apostles, and let them alone. For if this counsel or if this work be of men, it will come to naught. You see, here's the point, verse 39. But if it be of Yahweh, ye cannot overthrow it, least happily ye be found even to fight against God. You see? So if the work be of the Most High, you cannot overthrow it. Okay? So, when you read on, it says, so we're going to get to the point, verse uh, uh, 42. It says, verse 40, and to him that agreed, it's like it says, and to him they agreed. All right? And when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Yahweh Shai and let them go. Did they keep trying to stop them from preaching in the name of the Lord? But it wasn't working. It says verse 41. And they departed from, from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. Verse 42, this is the point. It says, And daily, and daily in the temple and in every house. They cease not to teach and preach Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Let me read that, that, that last one again. It says, And daily in the temple and in every house, they cease not to teach and preach. Remember preach? All right. A preaching, it goes into predication. All right. A sermon. And daily in the temple and in every house, they cease not to teach and preach Yahweh Shai Mashiach. You see? <laughs> they, we, we, you know, when it comes to this word, we, we obey the Most High rather than men. Okay? Because we are commanded. We are commanded to, to, to teach this word. Let's, let's get, we're going to get three more quick precepts, quick, quick, quick uh, hitters. And we're going we're gonna to wrap up the lesson. This is our Isaiah. I quoted this earlier. Let me just get it. Isaiah 58 and 1. It says, cry aloud, spare not. You're not going to spare your feelings. You're going to tell you like it is, the real truth, 100% truth. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. See, we are commanded to do this. 
and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. You see, we are commanded to do this. Let's get 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy, the fourth chapter and the first verse. Right? It's like it is. 2 Timothy, the fourth chapter and the second verse. Preach the word. Okay? Preach the word. Be instant, in season, out of season. So it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's cold, raining, windy, sun hot, okay? Got to preach this word. It says reprove, meaning to correct, rebuke, exhort, meaning to encourage, with all long suffering and doctrine, all right? So we got to preach this word, man, okay? Now the last scripture I'm going to leave you with is Romans, the 15th chapter and the fourth verse. Because that go back to the title to make the point. Romans the 15th chapter and the fourth verse. Right? Because this lesson is going into all right, the title which says this prediction, this slack here, this predication. This predication is predicated upon the scriptures. Right? So predication once again, it goes into a preaching, a sermon, okay, a proclamation, an announcement, publicly. You go out and you preach this word, as we're commanded to do, right? So this predication, right, is predicated, which predicate, when you predicate, I mean, predicated meaning your, your base, your, 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 your foundation, our foundation. This is based, this is predicated upon the scriptures, so this scripture comes to mind, Romans chapter 15, verse 4. It says, For whatsoever things are written aforetime, meaning ancient times, back in time. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. You see? So we go to the scriptures and read the scriptures. Yahweh Shai say, say in John chapter 5, verse 39, search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And we know our Lord come in the volume of the book, right? So you got to turn to the scriptures. That's why this is predicated, all right? This predication is predicated upon the scriptures. It's based on the scriptures, okay? We prophesy what this book is telling us, okay? Because this is the spoken word of the Lord, all right? This is the spirit of Yahweh Shai, okay? It's one of his titles is the word of God. This is the word of God. And we turn to this, okay, to get the understanding. For whatsoever, Romans 15 and 4, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, right? For us to learn. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. And we know our hope, hope goes into expectation. All right? Scriptures tell you how we are prisoners of hope. All right? So with that, I'm going to end the lesson there. This has been, this predication is predicated upon the scriptures. And Lord willing with that, Lord willing you were edified, okay, uh, and uplifted, okay. And um, I'm going to end the lesson there, giving our honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, that the honors to the elders and the apostles of great mystery on the top of the truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. With that, shalom.